was uh, what killed one of the BGs. Um, so it's one of those things that if, if left undiagnosed, um, it just presents as so many other things. And so, you know, it was great that the doctors they were able to figure out what it was and give her the surgery that she needed. So any amount that you can give will help because any amount will help Johns Hopkins be able to have um, better facilities or provide for people that can't afford it on their own. Um, I do have um, rewards for higher donation amounts, which you can see on the Extra Life page. But um, just anything you give uh, would be really helpful. And also, um, they um, have it so that you can donate uh, monthly instead of all at once. So if you don't have all the money now, but you know you want to give a large amount, you can do it that way. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Um, thank you for um, any donations that you can give. And thank you for supporting John Hopkins uh, Children's Center through Extra Life. Enjoy the stream. This year. All right. So welcome to Eric Plays Go Go Nippon. Nippon. My first game to Japan. My first trip to Japan. And um, there's the music. So um, <coughs> this is an interesting uh, game for me. Um, uh, ever since I was uh, very, very um, young, I wanted to go to Japan since about middle school, around the time I first started watching anime. And um, I never got a chance to go. Um, and I've wanted to go my whole adult life, and I just haven't had the money to go. So perhaps live through this game, I don't know. <coughs> the other interesting thing related to this game is that the first... Um, the first visual novel I ever played was Analog, a hate story. And this game was awesome. Really, really good game. Um, um, the emotions and the stuff that they tackled, it, it started in this one place and just ended up in this other place. It's just very um, intricate and, and really, really neat. Um, so, uh, when I look on Steam, whenever there are uh, visual novel sales on Humble Bundle, or uh, Groupies, or Green Man Gaming, or any of those places that do bundles, um, a lot of people seem to complain that it's uh, just barely hentai, or sometimes it is hentai, or whatever. So um, I have no idea if this is going to be any good or not, but um, I figured I'd give it a shot. So <coughs> let's jump right in. Um, I might be a little uh, interrupted here and there. Um, I'm taking care of my daughter while my wife is um, at the store, and my daughter might need my attention. Just like yesterday, if that happens, I'll go to the um, back soon page and uh, hopefully not take too long. So, here's the game. <laughs> and um, let's see here. It does look like the game is a little stretched. Give me one second here. I want to undo forced scaling, but if I do that, now I lose my game, I think. Let's see. Can you come back, game? There we go. Alright, so it's more of like a squarish. I do have a four thirds setup, but I don't have it uh, with everything set up at the moment, like the chats and everything, I don't think, because um, I haven't really played anything that's uh, meant to be on a four thirds monitor. But we'll just leave it like this. It's a little ugly, but it's no big deal. <coughs> so um, let's start. Put in my name. And. Uh, open the tab of currency in your country and enter the exchange rate. Um, okay, uh, let's say I think this is true. One dollar is a hundred yen, <coughs> more or less. It's good enough for me. So here am I on an airplane. <coughs> Sigh. <laughs> hmm. What do people usually do in visual novels? Should I? <laughs> kind of like act as if I'm the guy. It's no use. This is a very empty airplane. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't draw but like a bunch of heads or whatever. I have not been in an airplane this empty in a long, long, long time. <coughs> so I have plenty of energy. Hmm. Uh... My daughter's calling. Just one moment.
funny thing is, <coughs> I uh, also cannot sleep on airplanes, but it's more because I just have trouble sleeping if I'm not in my bed. <coughs> I suddenly feel totally exhausted. We're now beginning our descent. We ask you to fasten your seatbelts at this time. I can't go to sleep now! I guess I will act it out. We'll see how that goes. <coughs> but at least I'm finally... I'm realizing my dream of coming to Japan! Two exclamation points. <laughs> nice. This is... That landmass below us must be Japan, though. So why am I seeing this? Wow! This is incredible! I've been saving up my money and studying Japanese hard all in preparation for this day. I'd probably do the first and a little bit of the latter. Um. <coughs> my beloved Japan, I swear to make the most of my time here. <laughs> but there's something I have to do first. I'm going to be here for a week. While I'm here, I'll be staying in the home of a Japanese family. I'll be staying with two brothers I met in a chat room, Makoto and Akira. Oh, my daughter's calling in. Sorry about that. I'll be right back.
And we're back. <coughs> All right. <coughs> they were so happy to hear I was finally coming to Japan, they invited me to stay in their home while I'm here. By the way, this is my daughter Scarlett. She's the one who had the surgery at Johns Hopkins, who I'm trying to um, save money for, because her life was saved. So, um, you know, donate money. <coughs> so, first off, I have to meet up with the two of them. But where the heck are they? I told them where my plane was coming in. I figured they'd be coming to meet me. What's this place? <laughs> it's an airport. Airport. <coughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see them in the crowd anywhere. <coughs> and I don't see anyone who could possibly be them. What am I going to do? <coughs> ah. Huh? Um, excuse me. Sorry to be up bother you. But are you Eric? <laughs> um, yes. My name is Eric, but... <coughs> then it is you! Thank goodness! I thought we'd gone to the wrong gate for a minute there! Um, but... Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm Makoto! Misaki Makoto! It's nice to meet you! If that's the right thing to say. What? Makoto? You mean... <coughs> you're... <laughs> and this is... Oh, come on! Don't be so shy, you have to introduce yourself. Me too. Ah. Um, um, nice to meet you. My, my mu isu Akira Misaki. Oh, so this girl knows English, but this girl doesn't, or not very well. But this is nice to meet you here. Um, if that girl's Makoto... This must be Akira? What? What the? What the hell? Um, um, I, I move Rukingu forward to, to Shingu you. Hmm. What's wrong, Eric? Oops, I forgot to do my voice. Uh. Well, Makoto and Akira, I, I, I thought you would be guys. Ah. Hmm. Aren't Makoto and Akira boys' names in Japan? It's always been that way in the manga I read and the anime I watch, so I just... That's true, now that you mention it. We never mentioned that in the chat. And unlike Japanese, you can't necessarily differentiate gender through text and English. That is something I've known for a long time. Um, that's actually part of the jokes in Ranma, that he doesn't speak with the right gender in his voice. It's true that Makoto and Akira are often boys named Japan, so it sometimes results in misunderstandings. But... Right, I'm not gonna do the voice anymore, that's too crazy. <clears throat> but it's not so unusual for them to be girls' names, like, well, with us. Um, <laughs> it uh, really surprised you, didn't it? Uh, yeah. I see. Then Makoto and Akira were both girls. I could have sworn they were boys. Huh. Wait a minute. If they're both girls, does that mean I just stumbled into a week's day in a house with two girls? I totally did! And now that I look at them, they're both super cute. This might be my lucky day. <laughs> now that the misunderstanding is cleared up, let's try this again. My name is Misaki Makoto. I'm studying English literature at a university in the city. I look forward to getting to know you. I'm Eric. Hehe, <laughs> I know that much. Oh, that's right. I look forward to getting to know you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and this is my little sister, Akira. Hey, Aki-chan. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Hmm. She's upset. <laughs> Why? I don't know. She seemed so happy a minute ago. Why is she giving me the cold shoulder now? What is it, Aki-chan? Why are you so angry? I'm not. I'm not angry at all. Oh, don't say that. Are you still mad that he thought you were a guy? Not at all. I said I'm totally not mad. I 
think she's lying. I think she's mad. Come on. You were so looking forward to seeing him. <coughs> hmm. I was not. I wasn't t looking forward to it much at all. <laughs> You're not being honest. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. It looks like Aki-chan is in a bit of a bad mood. Don't take it personally. Uh, but she looks kind of pissed at me. She's not. She's really not. It's just... Just what? She's just at that age. Please don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Well, anyway, now that introduction is finished, we better get going. I'd like to get you home as soon as possible, but first, I have a favor to ask. What is it? Well, you can speak Japanese, can't you? Yeah, I've been studying it back home. Good. And for now on, I'd like you to speak as much Japanese as you can, okay? To tell you the truth, Akira's English is a little bad. I see. Yes. I had a feeling, judging by her pronunciation earlier. Hmm. Well, she didn't speak English in the chat room. What? I translated all of that for her. Ah, oh, that explains that. <laughs> anyway, can we switch to Japanese from here on out? Sure, I understand. Then let's start again. Makoto, Akira, I look forward to getting to know you. <laughs> ah, nice to meet you. Look, these girls are sisters. Nice to meet you. Then let's get going. Okay. get to our house, first we have to go into Tokyo. Going to Tokyo? Isn't the airport part of Tokyo? I'm afraid not. We're in Chiba, the prefe prefecture adjacent to Tokyo. It'll take a little while to get into Tokyo proper. I never knew that. This guy's a dum-dum. The airports are never in the big dum -dum. cities. <laughs> where, where, where daddy, I want, where, I want <coughs> to talk to a different... Daddy, is there going to be a different one? I, to her? I don't know. I don't know. There's her sister. It's a little inconvenient, but it can't be helped. Tokyo being as small as it is. Eh, no cities like that. The New York there airports aren't in New York. I don't know. Someone here? Yeah. Let's see. 